Hey guys, thanks for watching. In today's video, I'm going to do a desk tour. I have been asked a lot lately to share the workspace that I have with you. And if you guys have been following for a while, you know I'm obsessed with home decor. I'm always purchasing home decor for our house, redecorating rooms, and I like to move around furniture and all that good stuff. So this is just like one of my favorite things to share with you guys. I'm going to talk about where everything's from, why it's set up the way it is, how it works for me, along with some tips on productivity. If you guys are new here, please consider subscribing I post about a lot of different topics. I would love to have you and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. I hope that this video inspires you guys to revamp your own workspace and find a way to make it work really well for you. And let's get started. Here's a quick overview of everything. I'm going to go through everything in detail, but I wanted to show you guys in the fall and winter, I like to sit in a cozy corner and in spring and summer, I like to sit right in front of the window and I have the window open while I'm working and the breeze is on me and it's just the most relaxing thing ever. I plan to move this desk within the next few weeks, but this is the setup that I like for fall and winter. Here's the chair that I use. I purchased it at Home Goods. I really like it. It's like a pink silvery color and it's on wheels. It obviously like spins around, so it's really handy and useful to have in a home office. It also has some detailing on the side of it and on the back, and I just really like this chair. It's simple, but it isn't too simple. And then for my desk, I love a desk that has a drawer for the keyboard. Regardless of whether or not someone's using this style desk for a mouse and a keyboard, if you don't have like a desktop style computer, I think it's great for stowing away a laptop for pens. It's just an awesome way to have so many things within an arm's reach, but it's not sitting out on top. Starting in the corner, the very first thing I have are these flowers from Target. I have a lot of silk flowers in my house. As you guys know, I'm just obsessed with them. And then I have an A right here. I believe this was a home goods find. I also have a hashtag and I love this tray. I always put like hand lotion in here. I have a hand lotion in here right now, or I have some flags. Sometimes I have sticky notes in here. Small things that you want at an arm's reach are great in things like this. Right here I have a lot of pencils and a pen. I do have some more. I will show those to you in a second. They're in the drawer. And I just wanted something really cute to sit out. I bought this from the dollar spot at Target. I think the pencils are probably from Target too. I can't remember on those. Right here I have a little smile sticker. I just thought it was really cute and it fits with a lot of the decor that I have in here. So just a fun little thing to have. And then right in front of me is this huge notepad. You guys, I love this so much. I bought it at Home Goods. And I just thought it was so me. It has something for every day of the week, a note section. And I love like the skinny jeans and the heels and the bag. I thought it was really cute. This is really random. It's just a girl holding a watermelon. I don't even know what that's for, but it fits in perfectly in the space. I write random notes on this throughout the day, things that I don't want to forget about for that day that I need to do. I always write it on here. I also have a few coasters in front of me. I have one for water and one for coffee. I recommend having coasters because I'm always so afraid I'm going to spill on the keyboard and ruin it. So if I have a space that I set them far away, I don't have to worry about that as much. And right over here is an at sign. It's white and it fits in perfectly with that hashtag I just showed you. And then I have this phone holder from Home Goods. This is so useful. It props your phone up right in front of you and it also helps for sound. It's like way louder sitting in this thing. So if I'm playing music it's so much louder sitting in here than if it's just sitting right in front of me and I use this like all day every day I really really like it I also have a faux succulent arrangement it's something that I just put in like random places in the house but I like having it right here and then I have a lamp from Target. I believe they still sell this, so I will link it. It comes in a few versions. I love this lamp so much, you guys. I think it's really, really pretty. And I have an XO sign right in front of it that also is from Target. Right in front of my workspace is a gallery wall, and I'm sure some of you are wondering why I don't have like family and friend photos right here like a lot of people do. I have those all over the house, but Right here, I get so distracted if I have photos of like friends and family in front of me. When I'm working, sometimes I'll think like, oh, I haven't talked to her in a few days, I should text her, see what she's doing. And it honestly distracts me so much. So for my workspace, I like things simple and inspiring and motivating and things that aren't like super personal. That's just what works for me so I don't get sidetracked because seriously, it just happens every time if I have stuff like that. The first thing on my gallery wall is a heart and I just have this foam flower sitting on it. It can be put on the wall but I just set it right there because I wasn't sure what to do with it. 
And a lot of the photos I'm about to show you are either from Hobby Lobby or Home Goods. So the first one is from Home Good or no Hobby Lobby, sorry. And I really like a watercolor style like that. I do have an empty space right here. I need to find something for that. And then I have this one from Home Goods. They have a lot in this style with a bunch of different sayings on them. And this one is also from Hobby Lobby. That one's probably my favorite. I love things that are really vibrant with white, as you guys know. And over here are the three arrows. That one I'm pretty sure is from Home Goods. And the last one on this wall is kind of hidden, but I'm going to be rearranging soon, as I said. It says, may your heart and closet be full, and that was a home goods find. I thought it was really perfect with this. It all matches so well. And the last section is this wall over here, and I bought these from home goods. I think they were each a pack of five. I'm pretty sure there's 10 there, and they are small mirrors with gold around them. And as a lot of you guys know, I just love white walls with a lot of accents on them. I thought it was the perfect thing to fill up this space. I just think it looks really cute. Here's an up-close shot. It's just a small mirror in the center with the gold around the edges and they actually are pretty lightweight and inexpensive but I think from far away and especially in photos I think that they look really nice. And that brings me to my first productivity tip which is to get yourself a planner. I feel like this is something that so many people say that they plan on doing but they don't ever actually purchase one or if they do they write in it once and then they stop so spend five minutes a day writing in it or just reading through what you've written so you can make sure you won't forget anything having a planner and writing in it every day is honestly something that has taken a lot of stress off my back because I have a lot of things going on I'm sure you guys do too and I don't feel like I'm forgetting anything anymore so this is really handy what I like about this planner is it comes in two packs so there's a notebook for half the year and then there's a second one for the other half of the year. I also like that it has pockets in it. There's a pocket right here on the front. There also are smaller pockets on the back so I can like stuff flight information in there or just pieces of paper that I need and I don't want to lose. It's all in one place so I find this incredibly handy and useful. And my next tip is to be really honest with yourself about distractions. So I have friends who will have to turn the Wi-Fi off on their computer or they put their phone on airplane mode so that way while they're working they don't have any distractions coming in and I feel like the number one thing that helps me with this is if I focus on something and I don't allow for scrolling through Instagram or shopping online or whatever I will get that project done so much faster I won't have to think about it throughout the whole day and worry about it and procrastinate if I just like force myself to sit down I put my phone away and I just like hunker down get through it and it will be out of the way and done and you won't have to think about it anymore I also love to use the note section in my phone and on my computer because it's all one if you have like an iPhone and if you have iTunes and all that stuff it all is like one thing so if I'm on my computer and I realize I need something from the grocery store I open the notes section and I put that in there and then when I'm at the store it's already on my phone and for the planner I write down like appointments or projects I have to do but on my phone it's just small things for every day because realistically at the grocery store I'm not the kind of person that would pull out a planner I like everything on my phone so find a system that works for you stick to it and you'll be good to go and that is all for my desk tour guys I hope that you got some good inspo from this if you are new and you haven't yet please hit that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up and you also can click on the bell if you want to be notified whenever a new video is posted because as you guys know subscribing is not enough anymore in the YouTube world and I will be back in a few days with a brand new video bye